Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm back again with my weekly picks. And this time we're going to do the week six picks. Coming off of a big week five for me, where I was 11 and five for the third time in five weeks. So, yeah, you know... We have to do that again. Yes, we did. So, 11 and 5. Nice record. And I will put my record across the bottom of the screen for what I am on the year. But it's very good. Obviously, I'm the sportsman. Had one bad week last week, but hopefully that was just an aberration. That's right, I picked the wrong week. Good drink. So, let's move on. All right, so the first game of the week, and by the way, this will be a 14-game week because four teams have a bye, and one of those four teams is the Jets, who are saying goodbye before the bye. But the Jets, the Falcons, the Saints, and the 49ers all have a bye this week. Lucky them especially the Jets. So you're not going to see me throw a Jets helmet. It's not because they're not good. Because they are not good. But it's because they don't play. So on Thursday, the Thursday night game is going to be the Eagles at home against the Buccaneers. And uh, in this one, we're going to go with the Bucks. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Bucks here. They had a very impressive win over the Dolphins last week, although it was the Dolphins. Um, and by the way, as I go through these, you're going to notice I'm picking a lot of the home teams to lose. Like, I think there's only like two or three games where I'm picking the visiting team. Um, I mean, uh, the visiting team to lose. In almost every other one, I'm picking the home team to lose. So... That is a little bit of a risky thing to do, but I'm going by the teams and how good the teams are. I'm a little less on whether they're at home or not. So anyway, the next game we got is the Panthers are at home against the Vikings. This is one of the few games where I am picking the home team. Let's go with the home team. Panthers over the Vikings. The Vikings are a team in disarray. Cousins is having a very good season. He's one of the most highly rated quarterbacks in the NFL. But um, they, I mean, I think he wanted to beat um, Zimmer, the head coach, up on the sidelines last week. So it's a team that is uh, dysfunctional at the moment, um, even though they did win last week, I believe. Yes, they did. They barely pulled out a win. And I am going to pick them to lose to the Panthers. Uh, the next one is the Chargers over the Ravens. The Ravens are the home team. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the uh, Jags. Sorry, wrong game. I got the Dolphins over the Jags. And the Jags are at home, but I'm picking the Dolphins. Yeah, let's go with the Dolphins in that one. Um, because I went with the Jaguars last week as my upset special. I thought they would pull it off. But now, with the stuff that's going on with Urban Meyer and, you know, the distractions in the uh, clubhouse that they're probably putting up with that are taking the focus away from football, on top of the fact that they're not a good team, no, don't pick the Jaguars. So now we have that game that I was alluding to, and this is the Chargers and the Ravens, and the Ravens are at home, but I'm going with the Chargers. Yeah, let's take the Chargers in this one. I am high on the Chargers, man. They are an awesome team this year. They are just simply unstoppable. All right, let's not say they're unstoppable, but they're awesome. I mean, they're clearly awesome. The next game we have is the Rams and the Giants. The Giants are at home. This one is a no-brainer. You go with the Rams because the Giants have, uh, not only are they not a good team, even when they're at full strength, but they might be without Barkley, 
who got his uh, ankle stepped on in last week's game against the Cowboys, and they may be without Daniel Jones, who suffered a concussion and may not be ready to play this week, which means that they've got um, that, um, what is his name, Gannon? I, I don't know. But a anyway, he didn't even look too bad, but still, it's the Giants. Uh, next game we have is the Texans against the Colts. And I am going to go, surprisingly, I'm going to go with the Texans here. Even though the Colts are at home, and even though generally you would think that the Colts are a better team, and they just might be, but the Texans really gave a good game to the Patriots last week. And I'm thinking maybe they've caught on to something. Maybe that quarterback that has two first names, Davis Mills, maybe he's getting better. I don't know. The next game we have is the Chiefs playing Washington. And Washington is the home game, or the home team. But I am going to go with the Chiefs in that one. Yeah, I know the Chiefs got beat by the Bills, but that was the Bills. Okay. Washington ain't going to beat him. The next one we got is my boys, the Bears. And the Bears in this one are going to be the home team against the Pack. And hey, who am I going to take? So go with the Packers in that one. Um, they didn't look especially sharp this past week against the Bengals. But I still think they're going to beat the, uh, the Bears. So the next one we have is the aforementioned Bengals. And they are playing the Lions. And the Lions are at home. But the Lions, <laughs> Lions are a mess. So let's go with the Bengals in this one. They, uh, they took Green Bay to overtime. They, um, and they are... They have a good record on the year. I think they may be a playoff team. Maybe. But we have to see how the rest of the field plays out and how some of these other teams do. The next one we have is the Browns at home playing the Cardinals. This is another one, another one of the few, where I am actually going to take the home team to beat the Cardinals and give the Cardinals their first loss of the year. The Cardinals won last week. But they didn't look all that impressive. The Browns lost and looked impressive in the loss against, I believe it was, the Chargers. So we're going to go with the Browns in that one. The next one we have is the Cowboys and the Patriots. The Patriots are at home. But again, this is one where you take the Cowboys, take the points, take the Cowboys. The Patriots had every, they had their hands full with the Texans. So, and, you know, then the Cowboys beat up on the Giants. Now, I know they beat up on the Giants JV team, but still. Yeah. Next one we have is the Raiders and the Broncos. The Broncos are at home. Now, my instinct tells me to go with the Broncos, as I have been. But the Broncos have lost, I think, two straight games now. So, <clears throat> they're not the team that I was thinking they might be. However... You know, the Raiders did lose to the Bears, and the Bears are still trying to figure out a game plan for Justin Fields. So I'm not really sure. I'm kind of torn, but I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm going to say that the Raiders are going to work on an offensive game plan that's going to overwhelm the Broncos, and my buddy Chris Dufour would be all over my case if I took the Broncos yet again. The next one we ha have is the <clears throat> Seahawks playing the Steelers. Steelers are at home in this one, but no. Let's go with the Seahawks. The Steelers are garbage. I don't care if they beat Denver last week. They, that was just, that was a one-off. They're not going to do that again. And now the Monday, October 18th game, and this is the 14th game. Like I said, there are not 16 games this week. You have the Bills against the Titans. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Bills. Let's take the Bills to win that game. And those are my picks for week six.
the week six picks. So how did you guys like them? Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Let me know where you differed with me, because that's easier than you just writing out all your picks. And Or refer me to a video that you've made, perhaps, with your own picks in it. And uh, until next week, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.